Hi, and welcome to Sports School Yoga Center. I'm Malachi Melville, and I will be instructing you in a level 1-2 vinyasa flow yoga class. Some of the benefits of yoga include enhanced flexibility, strength, endurance, concentration, and most importantly, peace of mind. Remember to take care of yourself and always breathe. So starting in a comfortable cross-leg position, bring the shins one in front of the other and place your ankles underneath your knees. Bring your hands on your knees, close your eyes for just a moment, and settle into your space. And as you start to inhale, see if you can lengthen through your spine and lift the crown of your head towards the ceiling. As you exhale, just let all the breath out and see if you can let your sit bones or whatever is touching the floor get heavier. Again, inhale, lengthening the breath. See how tall you can sit in your spine. And as you exhale, releasing all the breath out, relax your shoulders, relax your face. And a couple more moments here, just starting to deepen your breath. Sitting tall, sitting relaxed. Exhale all your breath out. Gently open your eyes, take your arms out by your sides, bring your palms open, and with an inhale, extend your arms all the way up alongside your ears. Interlace your fingers, press your palms towards the ceiling. As you reach your palms towards the ceiling, press your sit bones or whatever is touching the floor into the ground. Lengthen through the sides of your waist. Draw your chest up and lengthen through the crown of your head. Relax your shoulders. From here, take your palms towards the front of the room. Draw your outer arms in and gently release your chin towards your chest. Breathe. And keep the sitting bones pressing down. Again, with your inhale, lift the arms all the way back up alongside your ears. And with your exhale, release your fingers and reach your arms by your sides. Take your hands in front of you. Bring your hands shoulder distance apart. Inhale, lift your chest so you're lengthening your spine. And with your exhale, walk your hands out any amount, keeping your sit bones pressing into the floor. Relax your neck. Make sure your hands are shoulder distance apart so that you have some space around your neck. Stretch to the sides of your waist. Take one more inhale, maybe walk your hands out a little bit further. Exhale all your breath out. And with your next inhale, walk your hands back up towards your shins. Cross or recross your legs so you're bringing the other shin in front. And again, bring your hands in front of you, shoulder distance apart. Inhale, lift your chest. And again, exhale, walking your hands all the way out. Reach your arms forward, relax your neck. And if it's possible, let your forehead rest on the floor. Take a couple deep breaths. Breathing through your nose as much as possible. Exhale completely. And with your next inhale, again, walk your hands all the way back up towards your shins. From here, we're going to come onto all fours. Place your knees directly underneath your hips and bring your wrist underneath your shoulders. Have your hands shoulder distance apart. And from here, find neutral. So you're looking at the floor and you want to feel like your back, your spine is like a tabletop. Draw your belly in. And from here, with your inhale, take your shoulder or your heart through your shoulders. Draw your shoulder blades down your back. And as you exhale, press your hands and your knees round your spine. Lift your belly towards the spine. And again, inhale, heart draws forward. Shoulder blades move down your back. You might want to close your eyes here. Exhale, press the hands and the knees round your spine. Use this motion here to synchronize your breath with your movement. Inhale, take the heart forward one more time. Exhale, round, press your knees, your hands, lift your spine towards the ceiling. Inhale, draw the chest forward through the shoulders and pause. 
Take your shoulder blades down your back, press your palms, curl your toes under, and with an exhale, stretch straight back into Downward Facing Dog. In Downward Facing Dog, you want to make sure that your feet are hip distance apart and that your hands are shoulder distance apart. If you feel like your hamstrings are a little bit tight, you might want to come up onto your toes, bend your knees, and pull your hips back towards the ceiling. Couple breaths, pressing the palms, lengthen back through your hips. And if it feels good to you, maybe start to take your legs more towards straight and take your heels towards the floor, or if you can, reach them all the way into the floor. Press your thighs back, press your shins back, and with your next exhale, bring your knees to the floor, take your hips to your heels, forehead on the mat, and release your arms by your sides and coming into child's pose. This is a very important pose to know. Anytime you feel tired, you don't feel connected to your breath, and you just want to take a rest, come into child's pose. Relax your shoulders. Exhale. Take your arms out in front of you one at a time. And again, hands shoulder distance apart. Stretch your hands forward, lengthening through your arms. Press your palms. And with an inhale, slowly, again, come up onto all fours. Curl your toes under. Press the hands. Exhale, downward facing dog. As you press your hands into the floor, again, lengthen through your arms, reach through the sides of your waist, pull your hips back, relax your neck. One more breath here. And with your exhale, simply walk your feet all the way to your hands. Separate your feet, comfortable hips distance apart, bend your knees, grab your elbows, and just dangle in a forward bend. Release your neck. Make sure your feet are straight, that they're parallel to each other. Spread your toes. And breath by breath, if it's comfortable for you, slowly begin to straighten out your legs any amount until you feel a nice stretch in your hamstrings. Inhale. Exhale all your breath out. Bend your knees. Release your elbows, draw the chin into your chest, and very, very slowly make your way to standing. Neck and head should be the last thing that comes up. And once you're up, relax your shoulders, step your feet together, and bring your palms together at your chest. And pause here, press your feet, lift through the crown of your head. We'll start our practice with a few half sun salutes. Release the hands by your sides. Bring your palms open. Press the feet down. Inhale, reach the arms all the way up. Touch your palms, look up towards the ceiling. Exhale, reach the arms slowly out to the sides as you fold. Inhale, lift your chest, lengthen out your spine. Exhale, again, fold over your legs. Press the feet down, again, inhale, take up a lot of space, reach your arms all the way up, touch your palms, look up, exhale, bring your hands back to your heart. And do this two more times. Inhale, arms reach up. Exhale, lengthen as you fold. Inhale, lift your chest, draw your shoulders back. Exhale, again, full. Press your feet through the floor. Inhale, reach the arms out and up. Get very tall here, look up. Exhale, bring your palms back together at your chest. Again, inhale, arms reach up. Exhale, fold. As you fold, firm your legs. Inhale, lift your chest. Pause here, have your hands on the floor, step your left foot all the way back behind you. Make sure that your knee is over your ankle. Drop your back knee to the floor, point your back toes. Either you can have your hands on the floor, 
You can take your hands on top of your knee, or if it's comfortable, you can reach your arms by your sides. Bring your palms open. Inhale, reach your arms up. Lift your chest. Sink your hips. Take one more breath here. And then with the exhale, release the hands to the floor. Curl your back toe under. And take your right foot back into plank position, just like the top of a push-up. Press your palms. Lift your heart and your belly. Lengthen your neck. And with your exhale, press the hands and extend straight back into Downward Facing Dog. From here, bring your left foot all the way forward in between your hands. Again, drop your back knee, point your back toes. Make sure that your knee is over your ankle. Either keep your hands on the floor and sink your hips, or take your hands on top of your knee, lift your chest. If it's comfortable, take your arms by your sides. Bring your palms open. And with an inhale, reach your arms up. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, release the hands to the floor. Curl your back toe under. And again, step yourself back into plank position. Hold for a few breaths. You can hold this as many breaths as you want to gain strength in your abdominals, in your shoulders, in your arms. One more breath. Exhale, stretch straight back, downward facing dog. Take anywhere from three to five to eight breaths here. Press the fronts of your legs towards the back of your legs. Inhale. And with your exhale, again, step your feet all the way to your hands. Bring your feet together. Inhale, lift your chest. Exhale, fold, lengthen over your legs. Press the feet down, inhale, radiate through your arms, reach all the way up, look up. Exhale, again, bring your palms together at your chest. One more time, inhale, arms reach up. Exhale, fold. Inhale, lift your chest, draw your shoulders back. Exhale, step your left foot all the way back behind you, come into a high lunge. Keep your knee over your ankle and point it right over your middle toe. Either keep your hands on the floor, bring your hands on top of your knee, straighten out your back leg. If it's comfortable, bring your palms by your sides, palms open, inhale, reach your arms up, breathe. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, release the hands to the floor. Again, step back into plank. Exhale, downward facing dog. Bring your left foot forward, right in between your hands, come into a high lunge. Hands on the floor if you'd like, on your knee. If you're feeling balanced, bring your palms down, palms open, inhale. Reach the arms all the way up. Lift your chest. Draw your tailbone underneath you. Take one more breath. Inhale, get taller. Exhale, release the hands flat. Step into plank and pause. Look slightly forward. Lift your belly towards your spine. Firm your legs. Take a deep inhale. This is tough. Exhale, slowly lower down. Keep your shoulders lifted. Raise the sides of your waist with your elbows. Pause. Lower all the way to the floor. Take your hands right alongside your chest. Inhale, come into cobra position. Press the hands. Spread across your collarbones. Pull your chest away from your belly button. Press the tops of your feet. Lift your inner thighs. Breathe. Using the muscles alongside your spine to lift you here. So not even using your hands. One more breath. From here, press your hands, curl your toes, and just stretch straight back into downward facing dog. You guys are doing great. Breathe. One more breath. Reach your hips back. With your next exhale, again, step your feet to your hands. Bring your feet together. Inhale, lift your chest. Exhale and fold. 
Make sure your big toes and your heels are together. Bend your knees like you're gonna sit down in a nice comfortable chair, but you're not. Take your shins back, and with an inhale, reach your arms alongside your ears. And sit down low. Press the shins towards your calves. Bring a little bit more weight into your heels. Settle your eyes on one place. Keep your knees gently touching each other, your inner knees. Breathe. Make your arms strong and long. Sit a little bit deeper if you can. And with your exhale, press through your feet. Bring your arms back to your, ha or your hands, back to your chest, and pause. From here, step your feet very wide apart. And again, reach your arms wide open. You want to have your ankles as wide as your wrist. Spin your left foot out 90 degrees. Spin your left, right foot in about 30. Watching your knee, slowly begin to bend your knee all the way over your ankle. And watch until you see that it's arrived. Lengthen up through your spine. Reach powerfully through your arms. And then take your gaze over your left middle finger. As you're here, you want to make sure that you keep your knee over your ankle and directed over your middle toe. Press through your back heel, firm up your back leg, lengthen through your spine, and breathe. A couple more breaths. You can stay here as long as you want, but this is a strong and sometimes difficult pose. One more, inhale. Exhale all your breath out. Press through your left foot and slowly straighten out your left leg. Spin your feet to parallel. Spin your right foot out, again 90 degrees, and spin your left foot in 30. Make sure your heel is in line with your arch. Watching your right knee, begin to bend your right knee all the way over your ankle so that you see that your shin and your calf are perpendicular to your mat. Take your gaze over your middle finger and breathe. As you inhale, lengthen through your spine. As you exhale, see if you can bend your knee a little bit deeper. Resist with your inner left thigh. And keep the crown of your head reaching towards the ceiling. Two more breaths. One more inhale. And with your exhale, this time you're going to circle your hands to the floor. Spin your back heel up. Step your right foot back into plank position. Pause here. Take your eyes slightly forward. And with your exhale, again, start to bend your elbows, moving as slowly as you can. Graze the sides of your waist with your elbows. Pause for a breath if you can. And then release all the way to the floor. Uncurl your toes. Inhale, lift your chest. Spread your collarbones wide apart. Press the tops of your feet and lift your inner thighs, your inner knees towards the ceiling. And again, use all the muscles alongside your spine. From here, take your hands back about an inch. Keep your shoulders rolling open, pressing through the hands and the tops of your feet slowly. Come in to upward dog position. You want to have your shoulders directly over your wrists. Press through the tops of your feet. Lift your inner knees to the ceiling. Lift your chest up. If it's comfortable on your neck, inhale, take your gaze towards the ceiling. And with your exhale, press through your hands. Stretch back into downward facing dog. Again, make sure your hands are lined up shoulder distance. That your feet are hip distance apart. Relax your neck. Press your hands and send your hips away from your shoulders. Press your thighs towards your hamstrings. Press your shins towards your calves. And see if you can get your heels closer to the floor or deeper into the floor. One more breath. With your next exhale, bring your knees to the floor. Rest your hips on your heels. Forehead on the mat, arms by your sides, child's pose. And let yourself rest for a few breaths. Relax any tension from effort, any tension from the work you've done. Draw your chin into your chest and slowly rounding your spine. 
roll yourself all the way up to sitting. And once you're seated, sit on either side of your feet. Bring your feet out in front of you. And scoot forward. Bring your hands underneath your knees. Find your sit bones. Sit right on your sit bones. Lift your chest. Rock back a little bit. Reach your legs out. If you want, you can keep them bent or you can straighten them out completely. From here, release your knees and reach your arms forward. This is called boat pose. Lift your chest. Breathe. This should feel, you should feel this in your abdominals. Spread your toes. One more breath. Exhale. Hug your knees into your chest. Take your foreheads to your knees. Rest. And again, Navasana. More boat pose. Reach your legs out. Lift your chest. Press your shoulder blades into your back. Take five more breaths here. Five. Four. Keep your heart lifted. Three. Two. And one. Again, hug your knees into your chest. Take your forehead to your knees and take a breath. Release. Bring your feet forward, your hips forward. Lie down onto your back. Separate your feet hip distance apart. And make sure that your feet are parallel to each other. Release your arms by your sides. Relax your spine into the floor. Hmm. Pressing through your feet. With your next inhale, lift your hips up towards the ceiling. Lift them as high as they can go. And then rock one shoulder and then the other shoulder underneath you. Interlace your fingers. Press your feet down. Lift your hips up. As you lift your hips up, try to keep your knees in line with your hips. Press the backs of your shoulders and start to lift your chest. Breathe. One more breath. Release your hands. Exhale. Release your spine all the way to the floor. Take a breath. I'll do it one more time. Press your feet down. And again, inhale, lift your tailbone. Lift your spine. Lift all the way up into the upper spine. Rock your shoulders one at a time underneath you. Interlace your fingers. Press the feet down. Inhale, lift your chest up or your hips up. And you want to make sure here that your knees are pretty much over your ankles. Press the pinkies into the floor and lift your heart towards the ceiling or towards your chin. One more breath. Release your hands, and slowly exhaling, release your spine all the way to the floor. If you'd like to do more of these, please feel free. Otherwise, bring your knees together, squeeze your knees into your chest. Give your knees a good squeeze, releasing your lower back into the floor. From here, bring your arms out shoulder height. Place your palms on the floor. Scoot your hips over to your left, and then keeping your knees together, drop your knees over to your right. Place the right hand on top of your left knee. And if it's comfortable, take your gaze over your left fingertips. Here is a good place to close your eyes. Slow down your breath. As you exhale, feel the twist in your spine. And as you inhale, just see how much breath you can bring into your body. One more breath. Exhale the breath out. Bring your knees back to center. Straighten out your hips and your spine. And then switch sides. Scoop the hips to the right. Drop the knees over to your left. Try to make sure that the right knee stays stacked on top of the left knee. Bring your left hand on top of the knee. And if it's comfortable on the neck, look over your right fingertips. Again, you might want to close your eyes. I'm just starting to cool down after all the standing postures. Starting to lengthen out your breath. And as much as possible, relax. One more breath. Exhale completely. Bring your knees back to center. 
straighten out your hips and your spine. Draw your knees back into your chest. Keep your right knee drawn in, place the left foot onto the floor. Make sure your lower back is grounded. Reach your right heel towards the ceiling. Interlace your fingers behind your calf, your ankle, or if you're very flexible, maybe grab hold of your foot. Draw the leg in, reach through your heel, and make sure that your lower back stays connected to the floor. If your lower back is grounded, extend your left heel out, straightening out your left leg. Breathe. This stretch is releasing your hamstring and opening your lower back after a back bend. Relax your shoulders. Reach through your heel. And just feel how deeply you need to go to get a good stretch through the back of your leg. One more breath. And then with your next exhale, again, hug your knee back into your chest. Bring your left knee up to meet your right knee. And place your right foot on the floor. Extend your left heel up. And again, either grab the calf, the ankle, or if it's comfortable for you, grab the sides of the foot. Draw the left leg in. You want to make sure that your left leg is straight and that you're reaching your heel towards the ceiling. If the lower back is grounded, you extend through your right heel and straighten out the right leg. Relax your shoulders into the mat. Smooth out your breath. And with each exhale, if it feels good on the back of your leg and it's not too much of a stretch, take your leg in a little bit deeper. Two more breaths. Bend your left knee back into your chest. And again, squeeze it in. One more time, bring your right knee to meet your left knee. And place both feet on the floor. From here, take your right ankle on top of your left knee. Flex your foot. Draw your left knee in. Take the right hand through this hole you've just created and interlace your fingers on top of your knee. This is just a simple hip opener, reclining hip opener, and you should feel it in your right hip. Press your left knee in, or pull your left knee in, and press your right knee forward. Relax your shoulders. And again, try to resist your lower back onto the ground. Breathe. This can be quite intense for a lot of people. Our hips often are some one of the tightest muscles in our body. Pull the left knee in any amount until you feel a good stretch on the outside of the right hip. Try to breathe. And one more breath. And with the exhale, again, release the left foot down. Release the right foot down. Place the left ankle on top of your right knee. Flex your foot to engage your hip. Draw your right knee in. Place the left hand through the triangular space. Either interlace your hands on top of your knee or underneath your knee. Flex your foot. Press the right knee in and draw the left knee forward. Relax your shoulders. Feel the stretch. Try to stay connected to your breath. Often a good way to know if you're going too deep or too fast is that you lose your breath. Relax your shoulders. Take a couple deep breaths and go only as deep as you need to until you feel a good stretch. And one more breath. Maybe pull it in a little bit deeper. And then release your right foot to the floor. Release your left foot to the floor. Stretch out your right leg. Stretch out your left leg. Have your feet at least hip distance apart. Relax your shoulder blades down your back. Bring your arms by your sides with your palms open to the ceiling. Lengthen your neck. Close your eyes. Take a couple of deep breaths. And then just begin to let go. This is corpse pose or final resting pose. You don't have to do anything at all here. Just let the muscles release. Let your body get heavy. And allow this time.
time to be for you. Allow this time to rest. 